In the previous video, we created the user interface for our application. In this video, we're going to create the entity classes as well as the JPA controller classes from our database. Now, NetBeans makes it very, very easy for you when you're doing these. The first thing we need to do is right click on the, on the project name and new entity classes from database. All right, so we choose the database connection. In this case, it's library. We add authors for now. Next that. Uncheck JAXB and click on finish. All right, so when we look at our school library package, we have a new class there, which is the authors class. And now we create a entity class for the books table. And we're done. The next thing is to create the, the JPA controller classes. So there we go, JPA controller classes. We'll just add all for now. And we'll make sure they're going into the school library package. We finished that and there we have it. So we have two entity classes and uh, two JPA controller classes. Now we can start actually bringing in the data from the database and also populating with uh, the data with, uh, with the database with data from our form.